Hi, thank you for joining me. I'm Dr. Lee, and I'm going to call this one Running from Responsibility. Running from Responsibility. I'm going to read Jonah 1 and 3 from the NLT. Jonah 1 and 3 from the NLT. And it says, But Jonah got up and went in the opposite direction to get away from the Lord. He went down to Joppa and found a ship going to Tarsh Tarsus. So he paid the fare and went down into it to go with them to Tarshish, away from the presence of the Lord. Again, Jonah 1 and 3 NLT says, But Jonah got up, went in the opposite direction to get away from the Lord. He went down to Joppa and found a ship going to Tarshish. So he paid the fare and went down into it. To go with them to Tarshish, away from the presence of the Lord. Jonah was running from responsibility. We need to learn from Jonah. And you already know you can't run from God. You can run, but I mean, God is everywhere. You know what I'm saying? He's everywhere. He's all-knowing. So, I mean, basically you're just saying wasting your time like Jonah. You know, he did all that running and then he had to, <laughs> then had to run back to his responsibility. And... We're the same way. Sometimes we know that God is calling us to do something. You know, it's something we have an assignment that we we have to do, or that you know we are supposed to you know do at a certain place or a certain time, and we just we won't do it. And like and some, I I met a lot of people that have like beautiful like singing voices, and you won't know they that they could even sing, and they they do not use that singing voice for you know saying for the Lord. I, and some of them, I guess, just. Maybe like me, a closet singer, and, and um, they just, I don't know, for whatever reason, I don't know, maybe they're shy, or maybe they don't see, you know, that their voice, I don't know, I don't, I really don't know, because I'm like, wow, I didn't know, no, you can sing, or wow, you know, you, you sing that lovely, high ever, but, um, but with that, they, they, they know like, okay, maybe I'm supposed to join the choir, or maybe I'm supposed to make that, that, um, that gospel CD or Christian CD, or maybe, you know, maybe they write poetry or, or what, whatever it is, they know that God has an um, assignment for you to, to do, to touch other people's lives or, um, that where he can manifest in your life and bless others or whatever, you know, God's got so many ways that he can do things. So I'm not trying to, you know, put all the ways out here, but I'm just trying to think of like, ways things that people have and a lot of time they don't utilize you know maybe you you know are a mechanic you go with your hands and you know that you know you you're supposed to be you no know, blessing maybe some of the elderly or you know somebody that maybe that single mom they don't have anything but you know but for whatever reason you're running from responsibility or maybe you're supposed to be starting an organization or they said starting a, you know some type of business some type of business and you know the business can you know help somehow you know help your church and finances or or help you know finance somebody else ministry or help you know to send a, um somebody overseas to 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 do some kind of mission work you know there's so many ways that God can slice it and dice it but you have to check and make sure you're not just running from you know saying running from responsibility and making up excuses because a lot of times that's what we do we'll be like Jonah we'll make up excuses and we'll run from the you know running from our responsibility. And, you know, in the, you know, in the uh, physical sense, you have people that run from their responsibility. Some people have children. They, they, they you know, won't take care of, won't, you know, don't desire to take care of a high ever. Or, or they got, you know, senior parents or whether they, 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 they could help and, you know, pitch in. Or, or, you know, somebody, you know, could be a sibling or a cousin, whoever that God puts in your, um, your life that you may can be, you know, you know, a, a blessing to, you know, maybe you're, um, you know, your ministry, maybe you like, you know, once a month you can buy, you know, a box of cereal for someone, you know, I mean, you know, you may say, well, that's not much, you know, I can, um, to do that, but some of the things are such a blessing to other people and speak, um, volume to, you know, to someone, um, well, someone else. I heard a story, um, I was listening to, I don't remember the name of it, but it's something spiritual and I was listening to, it's like an audio book. And the lady said that she was in, um, I think it was a restaurant. And she said that, um, that it's like, it's like, 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 like the Holy Spirit was telling her to go speak to this, this woman. And she said, so finally she, I guess, got the courage to go up and speak to the, the, um, the lady, the stranger. 
and she said, well, the lady went outside like she was leaving. She went behind the lady and kind of, you know, said they not just felt led to let you know that Jesus love you. And, you know, you know, and, and gave it a whole spiel. And that the lady was like, uh, um, you know, what would make you, you know, um, say that? You know, and she was like, you know, you want me to pray with you? And went through the whole, you know, um, shebang, got everything. And when um, the dish said that, the lady basically told her, that she been coming to that restaurant for like years and no one's ever said anything to her but she was so down and out and she had told herself you know that you no know, this was like it like i wanted for, if i understood right that she was gonna commit suicide or something and um and that you know if god was really real if you know jesus was real you know he would speak to her um now you know he would say something you know to her and so she and she was like really caught off guard when she was outside then this i think the lady said she was standing on a tree or something she was just kind of standing you know like she was lost and she was like blown away that this lady came up and mentioned like jesus jesus to her and all that stuff so what I'm saying is sometimes, you know, you know, it's easy to run for our spiritual responsibilities. And sometimes, like I said, it's just that God, you know, the Holy Spirit is leading us to say something to someone or bless them with $2 or a dollar or, you know, or give them a shirt or take them on a shopping street, buy a bag of groceries or, you know, around Christmas time and Thanksgiving time, I know people do a lot of giving. But it's so many other times in the days of the year that people, you know, that... You know, you can bless people. And sometimes it's not all about the money. Sometimes it's the meaning behind it. Because the person could have a billion dollars, but God tell you to give that person $3. And you have no idea what that $3 means to that person or that dollar means to that person. But by you being obedient and not being like, okay, this person here, you know, a billionaire. And I got, I'm giving them $3. You know, I'm giving them a dollar and fifty or whatever. That what is speaking to that person. So sometimes we'll make up excuses like Jonah and we'll run for it. You know, we look at these Bible stories and we're like, oh, I wouldn't do that. But we 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 tend to do it all the time because we don't take these Bible stories and utilize them and put them in our life. You know, like today, how 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 can I run from responsibility? And I mean, every day, you know, every day there's opportunity for you to, to run you know god may give you something to do that day and you're not doing it like i said so it's it could be like i said from just you know being a you know somebody that go up in there um and do a blessing because the holy spirit led you to bless that person and it could be somebody that just has a gift you know maybe they got a musical gift and they can play instruments and they you know they don't use it for you know to edify god's kingdom so you just have to think about you know what knows is any any area in your life that you're running this one responsibility and spiritually definitely check it out you know is there anything in your you know in the the physical realm that you know in this earthly realm are you running from you know you do you have elderly parents you know do you have you know some a grandparent that don't have much and maybe you can cut their grass maybe you can bless them with five dollars whatever just whatever god put on your heart to do the holy spirit guides you to do don't make excuses and run from response run, run from responsibility like jonah so i'm gonna pray father i come to you standing on jonah one and three in your word it says but jonah got up and went in the opposite direction to get away from the lord he went down to joppa and found a ship going to tarshish so he paid the fare and went down into it to go with them to tarshish away from the presence of the lord father i know that wherever i go you are there and you just no way um running from you but i know that i can run from responsibility so father whatever you have me to do may i continue to walk in and may i continue to grow in and may your holy spirit guide me and help me in these areas so whatever you have me to do that i not only do it but do it the way that you want me to do it and to deliver it the way you want me to deliver it so father i know that you know with all things we have to grow in we have to you know and as we grow we become better and better in it so father my desire is to become the best in all areas and being a the the best soldier that i can be for you and to be utilized by you so father thank you i love you in jesus name i pray amen so listen so just think about it that you know whatever in your life just make sure that you're not running for any kind of responsibility in the spiritual realm and in the physical realm and just you know you have to have any talks with god you have to talk any talks with yourself because what if not what you do is you put off on everybody else you like i said your bible beat everybody else but you won't apply this stuff to you so what i do i take these scriptures and i apply them to me because i don't want to miss that i don't want to be deceived it's too many deceived christians i hear already so and just deceive people period so 
I take this stuff and I'm like, okay, God, you know, I don't want to be, you know, like here, I don't want to be running for any kind of responsibility. Let your Holy Spirit show me, guide me, you know, because it's something that God can um, do. And I, like I said, I know, like, I, I, I've been known to, like, you know, out of, you know, just, like, fear or slowfulness or, like, maybe I don't understand, drag my feet or something. I'm like, okay, God, you want me to say this or do this, you know, and it's going to sound out of awkward or, you know, I, you know, you want me to pay for this person meal? I don't know, you know, know that person, you know, but, you know, just, you know, you feel odd and awkward sometimes, but you have to fight through that kind of stuff and say, you know, God, you told me to buy that person meal. I don't care if I know I'm not paying and, and just leave out the, 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 the restaurant or the store. Just do whatever you're supposed to do, you know, and like I said, once again, if you, you know, whatever, you have a talent, and you know you're supposed to be used for God's kingdom, use your talent for God's kingdom, and if you came across this video, and you do not have a relationship with Jesus Christ, all you have to do is repent of your sins, and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, that's how you get started, God knows your heart, and if you have a relationship with Jesus Christ, all you need to do is read your Bible, um, pray more, walk in obedience, apply what you read, and just be the brightest light you can be. Talk to God as much as you can talk to him. Pray, 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 pray. I'm Dr. Lee. Thank you for watching. Let go. Let God. And keep it moving. Take care.